I'm so sorry you guys. I did it to you again, MIA. And I promise you I have a really good reason. But for now, for today, it's just a grocery haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another grocery haul and meal plan. And I know it's been quite some time since I've shared one of these with you guys, and I promise you it's for a really good reason. We have had so many exciting things going on over here, and I can't wait to share them all with you guys. It's going to take a little bit longer than just in an introduction, so I'm gonna do more of a sit down video and let you guys know everything that's been going on, but it's really good things. It's been consuming us, but in a really good way, and I've kind of fallen behind again. But this was one that I needed to share. So I spent $275 in Walmart. It had been a couple of weeks since I had been grocery shopping, and again, I'm still trying to cater to everybody's needs in order for me to do a different kind of eating lifestyle. So we're not really buying any snacks anymore, no keto, but we are doing low carb. And I don't know if Daryl weighed in this week, but I did and I'm down 16 pounds. So it definitely is working doing the more low carb and just keeping all the cruddy stuff out of the house. I've had a awesome meal plan going on for the last couple of weeks. Whenever I've made something that I can't wait to share with you guys, I've either snapped a picture or I've taken a small video clip. So I'll have a what's for dinner coming up pretty soon with all the different like low carb recipes that I've tried, that I've worked, that have been like amazing that everybody in the family is enjoying. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. But for now, let me take you down to the counter and I'll show you what I got at Walmart for $275. Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of what I spent at Walmart. Uh, I do have a bunch of non-food items, so of course that always jacks up the price um, as well. Uh, that is the minimal little section with the cheating, so I really am happy with that considering the little kids and everybody still picked a snack. That's all really where it is and everything else is pretty much trying to incorporate a new kind of diet. My problem is finding a happy medium. I can't expect my kids to want to go completely carb free and that's not really what my husband wants and that's not something I really want either as though I know that it will make a huge difference as far as me trying to lose weight moving forward. So I was trying to keep everybody's taste in mind while trying to think of what I want to feed them as well as what I was buying, which was super hard when I went in with no list. So hopefully I'll be able to make something out of what I pulled together by what I know I pinned on Pinterest. So, um, this is like my ginormous produce thing. Again, I think this is 75 or 80 bucks or something in produce because it gets so costly, but I uh, gotta do it. So I got Mason a bag of apples. I got a bag of the cutie oranges for the kids. I got one red onion for some recipes and salads. Uh, I got a couple of things of lettuce here. So I got one thing of baby spinach, but that's more me. Nobody else really eats that. So that's kind of my green. And then I did just get only one big head of romaine because I still have two, I think, in the refrigerator from last week. Uh, I was out of onions, so I picked up a bag of that. I picked up four of these green peppers. Um, one of you actually suggested when I said I wanted to do steak sandwich last week and I wanted to do it carbless, and Daryl was kind of like, oh, don't take my bread away. Uh, some of you suggested doing a Philly cheesesteak inside of a stuffed pepper, and so I found that recipe on Pinterest, and that looked really, really good. Um, and I picked up an amazing ribeye steak that I'm looking forward to um, you know, doing in there. Daryl won't eat the pepper, so I'll probably make some kind of like small white rice or something on the side for him, but I'll be perfectly fine with just eating the meat and the pepper. So I'm looking forward to making those because they look really good. Uh, I got the kids some bananas, two cucumbers for salads and for snacking, uh, a thing of carrots. Maya's been tearing up the carrots and ranch dressing and all that. She loved that. Uh, I actually want to try my hand at like a keto version of ranch, um, but they had no no buttermilk at um, this Walmart so I'll have to see if I can go somewhere else to get that uh, I got a head of cauliflower. I'm going to try and do my own um, cauliflower mash. The one I got last week, that green giant one, was disgusting. Uh, I didn't like it at all. It was super watery. I tried to air, add more shredded cheese to give it bulk and stuff, and it just wasn't good. Everybody said, like, do this one and the right way, and it'll be worth it. So uh, I'm going to do that, and I'm excited about it. I still have, like, two or three potatoes, I think, in the pantry that may go bad. So I may kind of, like, see what's salvageable and throw that 
that in there too, maybe just to help with a little bit of binding and help the kids like it a little bit more because they were not a fan of that Green Giant one. But my husband said if it tastes good and he can throw some sour cream on it and be good to go, that he wouldn't mind being a that being a spot where we can cut a little bit out. So I'm hoping doing it this way I can... Um, Nicole said add some cream cheese and stuff and that makes a big difference so I'm excited to you know go and try that and then I got some baby bella mushrooms for some salads and some recipes of course these little sweet bite on the vine because they're so yummy and then my uh, Campari tomatoes I got a big giant watermelon I hope this one's been better the last two have been awful and I'm really sad about that like we only get a little bit out of it and then it's gone so I'm hoping this one's better because um, the kids can just tear up some watermelon uh, a thing of peppers for again snacking and some recipes I got a head of broccoli here just to do some recipes and again some snacking and then I picked up these big portobello mushroom caps so I saw a bunch of people using this as a bun substitute or like using not necessarily a piece of this on each side but grilling it and then maybe putting your burger on top of it and doing like an open-faced burger and using that like the bun or something and I I am mushrooms are one of my favorite vegetables so Daryl not so much but I figured I can probably do a couple of things with this for myself you know for lunches and stuff like that or again as a bun replacement if we might even do burgers tonight that was a, a option so if that be the case then that's where mama is gonna lean there was no carb smart kind of bread. Uh, Nicole gave me that link to that smart bread company to try for them. So I think I'm going to reach out and try that. But there was nothing like carb smart in Walmart at bread wise. So I kind of just stayed away from everything. Uh, I got two gallons of 2% milk. I got a thing of parm cheese for a bunch of recipes, heavy whipping cream for coffee and recipes, uh, two pounds of bacon. I'm really missing not going to BJ's and Trader Joe's you guys. Like I am slacking. I'm just, I just, it's such a to do to go out there and I miss it and I want to go. There's like watermelon jerky at Trader Joe's that I'm just dying for. I like to buy my bulk bacon and stuff from BJ's, but it's just, I don't know. I never want to go and spend the four or five hours by myself with kids doing that. I've been really cranky about that lately. So I just picked up two things of bacon for now. One is for a recipe and then the other one I'm going to cook up and just leave in the fridge for us to add for sandwiches, salads, breakfast, that kind of thing. Uh, I did pick up one bag of frozen cauliflower as another substitute. Maybe I'll rice this one and use this for mashed potatoes. I don't know. I'll have to see what recipes I like the best. But Nicole sent me a bunch of them. So we'll see uh, how that goes. And then I did get a thing of these um, a crinkle cut fries. These are like the ones that have a little bit of the flavor, the seasoning to them. Uh, this I thought I would just throw in a bag and when I'm making things like veggie tots that the kids aren't gonna be all about, then I can just throw a handful of these in the air fryer for them because Jake really isn't gonna care for that either. So uh, I just got that so that they can have that when we're changing things up a thing of broccoli florets and then I'm gonna do the corn tots this time. I did the cauliflower last time and they were good but I almost feel like they needed to be in the air fryer for so, so long to get that real crisp. Otherwise, I still like, felt like it was still a little mushy in the inside. As soon as Daryl been into it, he was like, this is clearly not a tater tot. Uh, well, we know that. We're trying to find a substitute, but these I feel like get a little bit more crispy, uh, not liquidy in the center because it's corn. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I would think I would rather these, so we'll do these for this week. And then a bunch of berries for like parfaits and um, that kind of thing. So I got blackberries and blueberries and raspberries. And then as far as yogurt, I really couldn't, um, I was excited. BJ's has a coupon for those two good yogurts that everyone says is really good. That isn't, has, doesn't have a whole lot of sugar and stuff. Uh, but there really wasn't any options like that at this Walmart. Again, this was spontaneous, so we weren't in our regular two Walmarts that we shop in. I was out of my element. I forgot juice and a bunch of things because I wasn't uh, in the place where I normally shop. So I just grabbed these for now just to have an option for myself. Maybe before I go and work out, I can have a yogurt or something or when I come home. This is not for that. I've never seen plain Greek yogurt in a little container like this. And sometimes recipes call for this as a dressing substitute. And I always have to buy this big gigantic thing and throw most of it out. So I got this little cup to use like as a sour cream or dressing recipe kind of substitute. And then I got two of these Oikos yogurt 
yogurts, um, the triple zero ones. I guess these would be the best out of what I found. So I got the peach and the wild berry. So just a couple of things to have um, before, like I said, I'm working out or something. Um, I told Daryl, hey, like, it's okay to have, like, pickles on this diet. And so he chose sweet gherkins. I was like, no, honey, that... <laughs> That's defeating the purpose, but that's like a man's mentality. You said I can have pickles, right? So I want the sweet gherkin. So he got those, but I just got regular kosher dill pickles. It's just something to have cold when I open up the refrigerator. And then everybody got to pick an ice cream. So the little kids picked those Jolly Rancher things. Daryl let them pick them, whatever. Not a fan of that, but that's whatever. And then Jake wanted these little birthday ice cream cups. So I thought that was good. That's also portion control. The little kids will like that too. And then Daryl and I got these carb smart like Briars bars. So probably still not like a good choice to have ice cream, but I don't know. I don't want to deprive myself. So little things like that are um, to me a step in the right direction because what I buy last week, the almond ones, you know, so this is definitely a step in the right uh, direction. Uh, a bunch of cold cuts just for us to have for sandwiches or, you know, roll-ups, Lunchables throughout the week. So this Castlewood to me, again, works the best, even though it's no nitrates or anything, it still holds up better than regular cold cuts from, that you would have cut at the deli counter. And there's no preservatives or anything in there, but it still holds up really well. So I got the smoked honey turkey and the ham, and then I also got pepperoni, and then I got bacon bits for salads and then the Italian dry salami. This was on rollback for three bucks, which I thought was great. Uh, of course, the kids' expensive yogurt, but at least one box for them each week. And then a thing of diced green chilies. I need that for a really delicious, like, queso kind of chicken recipe. A thing of olives for my Lunchables. Daryl saw this and he used to make me the most amazing chipotle mayo and he was like oh honey that would be really good like if you're rolling up those cold cuts to smear a little chipotle mayo on it you really like that so he picked this up for me so he can make me that mayo. Um, my only guilty pleasure in the morning this has been instead of a meal I've been having um, the creamer in my coffee so that's worth a trade to me because uh, I'm not trading my coffee. So I got the chocolate caramel one. That was on rollback for $1.48 for that big container. So I got that one. Um, I think of sour cream for recipes. They had literally no crumbled blue cheese anywhere, and that's what I was craving. Um, but I got feta instead just because I like crumbled cheese when I make big salads. I got a thing of the Philadelphia cream cheese for some recipes, um, and I think I want to do like some snacking kind of stuff um, with this, so I should have probably gotten a whole nother package, but it's so much cheaper at BJ's, so I like, I have to bite my tongue sometimes and just say like, forget it, who cares about the extra 60 cents here, just do it while you're here, but sometimes like the couponer in me was like, just wait till you go to BJ's and spend less money, but whatever. Um, so I got that for now. And then two things of cheese. We're going to cut this one up for Lunchables and snacking, and then this one we're going to use for a recipe. But uh, one suggestion everybody was giving me is stop with the shredded cheese and all the stuff that they put on it, the coagulants and stuff that's just not healthy for you. And I'm sure I've known that, but I never really took it to heart until so many of you were like, hey, try just using the block cheese. So, you know, when consensus says like, hey, try something else, we're going to try something else. So we got these block cheeses for that. I did pick this up for myself because I'm missing Trader Joe's and I love those candied pecans. I don't use a whole lot of them, but they just add a sweetness and a crunch to my salad that I truly enjoy. So I got this cherry cranberry pecano. It says it's naturally flavored cherry cranberries with honey toasted pecans. So this will last me forever because I use the tiniest pinch, but I just like texture in my salad. So the crunch of those um, nuts works really well. And then they didn't have the natural grape so I got the blackberry. I think Jake won't notice because he'll just see the dark in the container and the taste isn't so different. If he sees the container, he'll never eat it. But uh, they had no grape, so I went with that shot. Hopefully, the kids will eat that, the little ones, but hopefully, fingers crossed, Jake doesn't notice. Uh, coffee pods for Daryl, and then the Pure Balance um, Healthy Dog Food for the dogs, and then three of that uh, popcorn. This one, this was actually a dollar, where my Walmart, even though it says a dollar, it rings up for 94 cents. So, and I, that's like I said, nothing you can ever figure out because I never get it. Um, I picked up shrimp. Daryl doesn't eat shrimp because he's allergic, um, but I think I'm going to use these for like 
over that spinach with some egg and bacon and prep myself up some salads for the week. And I will love that because that's so me and I will reach for that every time I want something instead of another option. So I got that for myself. And then have you ever seen me buy a pack of steaks like this? Like, holy cow. Sometimes it's amazing to me why people wonder why Americans are so overweight, but they make all the good things that you should eat except we're expensive. And then all the crappy things that you shouldn't eat are a dollar. And that's why everybody chooses that option and nobody's healthy anymore. Um, it's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever spent this much on meat, but this is a really good cut of meat. And ribeye is my favorite steak. And I'm gonna get a bunch of meals out of this. Well, at least two. So when Daryl saw this, he was like, I would never eat that full one. And I could never too. I, I could never. We probably would be able to cut one of these in half and split it. Um, so I thought using one of these for those stuffed Philly cheesesteak peppers, like rib, real good ribeye steak as that Philly cheesesteak in that pepper, I think that would be dynamite. And then I think if I cut one in half and we use it as a steak dinner one night, the kids aren't really into steak. So this would be something more just for me and Daryl. The kids probably would do a steak if we did like quesadillas or something. So if we did one steak dinner and then one thing of quesadillas and then one thing of the Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers, I think I can, get a, I can get a lot out of, you know, um, this $27 invested. But they look so good. The marbleization, like yum, yum, yum. I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, got some melatonin for Daryl and I. I said it wasn't working for me, but it's been getting a little bit better if I just take a little bit of a higher dose. So I got the 10 milligrams this time and I might even take extra, but um, as long as I take a little bit more than what I first started taking, it, it has been helping a tiny bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, the kids were out of vitamins, again, missing BJ's, so I just got the um, Walmart version of the Flintstones until I can make it to BJ's to buy the big bottle. Uh, a thing of overnight diapers for Mason and a thing of diapers for Maya. She's actually been peeing on the potty. I'm super excited for her, like thumbs up right now for Maya. Uh, really happy, um, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. And I tried to do the pull-ups with her, but she still thinks that they are like a diaper. So I ordered her some panties online and I'm waiting for them to come and then we'll start really training her but I'm happy that she's kind of like turning the curve up from that I uh, got a thing of paper towels the Scott paper towels and then of course our Scott's toilet paper and then got two things of pasta this is that healthy carb pasta that my mom gave me last time I was pretty sure it was dream fields but I didn't say it so I didn't remember which one that it was but we didn't mind it it was okay so this is the only two options that uh, our store had but I got the one the elbows which is great because I'll use it as a pasta salad and then I'll make a homemade mac and cheese for the kids and then one night we're going to do spaghetti this week with my meat sauce so that sounds good and then here is the melatonin for the kids I don't have a grove order coming anytime soon right now probably be another couple of weeks so I had to pick this up in the meantime and then um, I got a thing of the Richard's peanut butter the stuff is bomb we are like absolutely loving that I got a thing of my expensive eggs. We probably have a dozen still, but I'm gonna cook, boil up that dozen for hard boiled eggs and stuff. And then this will have, um, we're doing like a six layer breakfast thing this week and we needed a lot of eggs for that. So I got that for that. And then I found those hip peas. These are like the nacho ones. Kim over at the Wads like absolutely loves them and I've never seen them ever. So I picked them up. It's kind of like a cheese doodle, but it's made with chickpeas. So it's supposed to be a lot healthier. So we'll see if the kids like that um, and then like I said here is our tiny little cheat section so I did pick up one loaf of everything bread so there is probably going to be one night where we will do some kind of carb something so I got this for that I don't know what it'll be but I promised one night you know we would not be all carb conscious so that's what that will be for and then i told daryl to pick one snack and he picked two of course so he picked that um he said he hasn't seen those in a long time and that was like a nostalgia thing for him so he picked that up maya picked these little shimmer and shine um fruit snacks of course she's probably not even gonna like them but just because the girls are on the box she was all about that um again i said daryl picked two snacks so he saw these raspberry rolls like cinnamon rolls but made with raspberry so I'm sure that was a conundrum for him like how do you choose so I was like forget it babe 
no one else is going to eat them. So it's on you. You want to cheat on your diet and you want to have this, that's on you. I mean, the dude seriously runs his butt off at work. So I'm sure um, he'll work off some calories, but that was his. And then Mason saw these little bunt cakes for just a dollar and this was his choice. So he got a chocolate bun cake and then he also picked up this little seven up one. And mom didn't get a snack. That's what the ice cream was for. So that is it guys. That was my super long crazy haul. And now let's get into the meal plan. Okay guys, so here is my meal planner with the meal plan for this week. Well, actually the meal plan for this week is on this page, but being that I haven't shared my meal plan in a couple of weeks and I've been doing a lot of low carb or keto recipes, I wanted to share what I've done and most of the recipes I found on Pinterest. So I'll make sure to pin them below so you guys can see them. Um, don't really regard too much of the days of the week. I just wanted to mentally go through so I made sure that I wrote everything down that we had so that I can share it with you guys. So uh, one of the days we bumped pineapple chicken, that is my recipe. It's more just like a pineapple glaze that you use when you grill chicken on the barbecue and that is a really, really good, that's my recipe and that we've had like a tons of times, we love that. And then this is a new recipe that I found on Pinterest. It's a cheeseburger keto casserole. Holy cow, you guys, this was probably the best thing that I've made so far over the last two, three weeks that I haven't shared with you guys. Uh, I took a what's for dinner clip so I can share it. It was so delicious. I'll pin the recipe below, but holy cow, just spot on. All of my family loved it. Jake came down the stairs and he was like, that looks not so appetizing. I don't know if I want to eat it. And then he took one bite and he took half the tray. So I definitely know this was a hit in our house and I'll be making that again. Uh, one day we did grilled chicken Caesar salad. Um, everybody else had the croutons and either in a wrap or something. I just had the salad and the chicken in a bowl. Um, and then I got these really yummy grilled sausages from the butcher. Well, like thick linked sausages. And then we grilled them on the barbecue, holy cow, like bratwurst almost. They were super delicious. And then I used some of the Dreamfield's elbows and made like a bacon and cheddar pasta salad on the side. It was really good and it was gorgeous that day. We ate outside, it was awesome. Um, I made a baked meatball casserole in the crock pot. That was okay. Uh, it called for like frozen meatballs, so I had to use the ones from Walmart. I prefer the ones from BJ's, so that recipe may call for a little tweaking. I'll link that one below as well, but for like a set it and forget it crock pot dish, this was pretty good. Um, one night we did garlic grilled chicken, like I just sauteed some chicken on the stove top with garlic and oil and I did it with broccoli. It was really good, simple, easy. We were just in a rush. Um, that particular day and then one day we did the Mexican restaurant the Mexican restaurant down here is just amazing And I love getting their fajita in a bowl. It's perfect. It's no carbs I don't use any of the wraps or chips or anything But I just love all the yummy flavors and the avocado and the sour cream and everything so delicious um, Then one day I did a green chili queso chicken and rice I'll link that recipe as well. It was super, super easy um, and good. Again, I think I might do some tweaking. It called for putting it in the oven. I think I would have liked it a little bit better in the crock pot so it was shreddable. I'm not sure, but we really love all of those like Tex-Mex kind of flavors. So anything like this, we're really all about. Um, one day we actually did already break into those steaks, um, that grocery haul was filmed just a little bit ago, um, and so we did get into the steak already and we made ribeye quesadillas. Holy stinking cow, that ribeye is so good. The kids were all over that, which is great because I said they're not about steak, so they ate that and really, really loved it. So I was happy about that. Um, we're really loving that Dreamfields pasta. So one night we did spaghetti with my meat sauce and then I did a salad and I made this carb free cheesy bread. So I'll link that as well, but you just add like an egg and stuff to shredded cheese. So it kind of forms and then you form the cheese, melt the cheese on a pan in the oven and it kind of melts down where it almost looks like cheesy bread, but it's really only the cheese. It's really good, it's not difficult to make, and it's certainly served the satisfying feeling of having like cheesy bread without having cheesy bread. So definitely a good alternative to not having that. 
Um, we did this six layer breakfast casserole. That was okay, but I kind of used the wrong um, kind of sub bread substitute on the bottom and it like got soggy. We really weren't a fan. I'll link that recipe, but we definitely need to do some tweaking there as well. Um, this recipe I will link and that was delicious. It was a taco casserole. So, so good. Really just like making a seven layer taco dip without the shell or something. But it was really, really good. The kids had some chips and salsa on the side, but Daryl and I just had that taco casserole in a bowl and it was really good. Uh, one day I did buffalo chicken chop salad. So I just got a rotisserie chicken and pulled it. And then I coated the chicken in buffalo sauce, threw it on top of a salad, and the kids had the chicken in a wrap. And Daryl and I had it on a salad, and it was really, really good. So I was happy with that. And then we did make the Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers. Holy stinking cow. Again, that ribeye was like top notch. Excellent in the stuffed peppers. Gave it a great, great flavor. Super cheesy and delicious. Cooked up really, really, really good. Um, and then I tried the real cauliflower mash. And that was really good. I did throw in one small potato just to get it a little starchy and stick together, but that one little change made everybody fall in love and eat it up and think it was yummy. So however I have to get my family to cut back a little bit, I was happy about that. So now here's this week's meal plan. Um, I was trying to get this video out a little bit earlier, but Daryl had a couple of days off and we had a couple of meetings and things that we had to take care of. So realistically, you guys are probably not going to see this till Friday. So some of this is going to already have been crossed off the list. But um, a low carb chicken cordon bleu no breading or anything it's just layered like a casserole um and i think i'm going to do that with fresh cauliflower um and corn like just some veggies on the side of that cordon bleu it's very heavy ham chicken cheese that kind of thing um one of the days we have to make a home depot run and do a little shopping and all of that is out by my husband's job so we're going to stop in there um with the kids we don't get to sit very often, Daryl will bring something home every once in a while, but we don't get to sit there and like eat the peanuts and have the whole experience. So we're just going to sit and go there and have that. And Five Guys has a burger in a bowl. So that's a great alternative for someone who wants to do low carb. So that's the option I'm going to take. Um, this egg roll in a bowl, we've made this once before. I'll link this recipe, but it is super delicious. I'm going to do white rice on the side for the kids, but Daryl and I will just have the egg roll in a bowl. So yummy. And then this is the only thing on this list I've made already. We switched the meal plan up and I've made this already. And whoa, you guys, keto fried chicken. Okay, I had to use pork rinds, never used that before. Super intimidated. I didn't like the smell of the pork rinds. I thought I was gonna hate the chicken. It was so good. You crush them and you just add a little spices and you coated it and you baked it in the oven at a high temperature and it got crispy and it was just like fried chicken. So, so good. We did that with corn tots. The little kids had some french fries and then we did some broccoli on the side, but really wow. Like, I'll link that for you, but wow. Um, this is my Instapot hamburger helper. Again, one night a week we'll, we'll do some kind of carbs um, that Daryl and I will have it. I mean, I, I'm making other things that the kids are having, but for him and I, um, we are going to do that Instapot hamburger helper. Uh, I have a cooking video for this, so I'll link it for you guys, but this is probably one of my favorite Instapot meals. It's super easy. It's like set and forget, and it comes out delicious. So we're going to do that, and then if I see Nicole post one more keto pancake picture, I'm going to lose it. So I'm going to do her keto pancakes with bacon, and then of course the kiddos get watermelon, and then I'm going to use that last piece of steak and do steak fajitas. Um, we were just really loving when we ate that from the Mexican restaurant, so we're kind of looking for that. Again, the kids will do nachos, and that's what we will have. So thank you guys again. If you have made it all this way, that means you are truly craving a video from me, so I'm super appreciative of that. I promise you guys I'm going to start posting as much as I can, and once I can get down to the nitty gritty and explain to you guys where I've been. I'm sure you will be just as excited for me and my family as we are. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.